Evie Wilde's novel, After the Fire, A Still Small Voice, is a haunting exploration of trauma, grief, and the ways in which individuals struggle to connect with one another. Through the stories of two men living in different time periods, Wilde explores the devastating impact of violence, war, and abuse on the human psyche. The novel is structured around two separate narratives that gradually converge. The first narrative follows Frank, a young man living in Sydney, Australia, in the aftermath of a traumatic event. Frank is haunted by memories of his time as a soldier in Vietnam, and struggles to find meaning and purpose in his life. He retreats into a reclusive existence, spending his days repairing old radios and avoiding human contact. The second narrative follows Leon, Frank's grandfather, who lived on a remote island off the coast of Australia in the aftermath of World War II. Leon is similarly haunted by his experiences of war, and his memories of a brutal childhood marked by abuse and neglect. He struggles to connect with his wife and son, and is eventually driven to commit a violent act that results in his expulsion from the island. Wilde weaves these two narratives together in a way that is both seamless and haunting. Through Frank and Leon's stories, she explores the ways in which trauma and violence can reverberate through generations, shaping the lives of those who come after. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is the way in which Wilde evokes a sense of place and atmosphere. The island on which Leon lives is described in vivid detail, with its rugged coastline, dense forests, and oppressive silence. Similarly, Frank's existence in the Sydney suburbs is suffused with a sense of disconnection and isolation. Wilde's descriptions of these environments are evocative and visceral, imbuing the novel with a palpable sense of unease. Another notable aspect of the novel is the way in which Wilde explores the nature of relationships. Both Frank and Leon struggle to connect with others, and their attempts to do so are often thwarted by their own internal demons. Leon's relationship with his wife is strained by his inability to share his experiences of war and abuse, while Frank's attempts to connect with a woman named Sal are undermined by his own feelings of inadequacy and unworthiness. Despite the heavy themes that permeate the novel, Wilde also imbues it with moments of lightness and humor. Frank's interactions with the eccentric characters he encounters in his neighborhood provide moments of levity, while Leon's memories of his childhood are infused with a sense of wonder and magic. Ultimately, after the fire, a still small voice is a powerful exploration of the human condition. Through the stories of Frank and Leon, Wilde reminds us of the ways in which trauma and violence can shape our lives, but also of the resilience and strength that can emerge from even the darkest of experiences. Her vivid prose and evocative descriptions create a haunting, unforgettable reading experience that will stay with readers long after they have turned the final page. In conclusion, After the Fire, a Still Small Voice is a novel that explores complex themes in a way that is both evocative and deeply moving. Through her masterful storytelling and vivid descriptions, Evie Wilde creates a world that is at once haunting and beautiful, a world in which trauma and resilience exist side by side. This is a novel that will resonate with readers long after they have finished reading it, a testament to the power of literature to help us understand and make sense of our own lives.